This video is meant to show growers how powerful such a simple tool as managing row spacing can be beyond the cost that an adjustable row spacing planter can incur. Narrow row spacing, where feasible, is a key component of integrated weed management. The manipulation of row spacing is a simple management tactic that can have a sizable impact on weeds and crop yield. Weeds compete with crops for resources including sunlight, nutrients, water, and space, and can outcompete them, leading to yield loss if weeds get too large or numerous. Narrow row spacing reduces the time taken by the crop to close the canopy, thereby providing rapid shading and decreasing weeds' competitive ability. The critical period for weed control is the period of time during which a crop must be kept weed-free to prevent significant yield loss. Crops are most susceptible to weed competition during their early growth stages. Each crop has a different critical period of weed control which depends on the biology of the plant and environmental factors. Highly competitive weeds that grow during this period can cause significant yield reduction even at low densities. Wide row spacing exacerbates the problem. Studies have shown that weeds must be managed during the critical period of weed control to protect crop yield and decrease the number of seeds the weeds produce at maturity. Weed seed production can replenish the soil seed bank with new seeds, which can be a problem in following years. The most common row spacings are 30 inches for corn, soybeans, and cotton, although 20 inch spacing is increasingly common in soybeans and annual cereals are typically seeded on 7 to 10 inch rows. Corn and cotton are not generally planted on less than 30 inch rows. Narrow row spacing for soybeans is considered to be 20 inches or less. Early crop canopy formation blocks sunlight, affects weed seedling emergence, and suppresses the growth of any emerged weed seedlings. The critical period of weed control can be shortened through the use of narrow rows, which may reduce reliance on herbicides and or improve their efficacy. Soybean consistently displays the most benefits of narrow row spacing. Due to its canopy architecture and rapid early season growth compared to other crops, narrow row spacing can significantly decrease sunlight exposure to inter-row areas. Thus, the quantity and quality of light available for weeds is minimized, reducing weed growth and competition. One of the most prominent herbicide-resistant weeds in the eastern U.S. is Palmer amaranth, a type of pigweed. Pigweeds are well known for growing far taller than most crops and have become resistant to multiple groups of herbicides. Narrow row soybeans are able to alter the growth pattern of pigweed, decreasing the number of leaves and amount of biomass it produces. In this demonstration, soybeans were planted on 30, 15, or 7 inch row spacings. For each of these row spacings, there were four weed control treatments no herbicides, a pre-emergence herbicide applied at planting, an early post-emergence herbicide application, or both a pre-emergence followed by a post-emergence application. In this first image, a non-treated 30-inch row spacing can be seen. Notice that shading alone was insufficient to reduce pigweed size and that as a consequence, weeds produced a large amount of seeds. A pre-emergent treatment applied to soybeans at the same row spacing was not enough to clean up the field. Weeds were only successfully controlled with the addition of another post-emergent herbicide. By the time this herbicide was applied, however, weeds had been competing with the soybeans for too long during the critical period of weed control, and yield was consequently reduced. This second set of images shows a 15-inch row spacing, half the spacing shown in the previous set of images. The untreated 15-inch spacing plot shows less weeds than the 30-inch row spacing plot from before. Weeds were shorter and produced less seeds. Once again, shade produced by the canopy closing clearly helped reduce weed emergence, size, and seed production. When a pre-emergent herbicide was added, weeds were minimized, although this sole treatment, or the combination of row spacing and herbicide, was not enough to sufficiently control weeds. In this case, adding an extra post-emergent herbicide allowed for successful weed control. Finally, soybeans were drilled on 7-inch rows to reach the same crop densities as in the other treatments. 
The crop distribution was not as even. However, the crop canopy closed one week earlier than in the 15-inch row spacing and almost 20 days before the canopy closure in the 30-inch row spacing. The shade cast by the soybean canopy effectively blocked light needed by the weeds during the soybean critical weed-free period and helped the soil retain moisture as well. To see how these and other tactics could work on your farm, follow us through our website and on our social media account.